Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Red Tractor Tycoon, where our job is to turn this little red tractor into a fortune. Let's get started. All right, here we are on our little farm. We have $1,200 at our disposal. It looks like we have a couple tools here, a couple of zones, maybe some shops up here. Okay, we have a lab, we have a shop, and we have storage. Let's check out the lab. So with the lab, we can, oh, we can unlock a bunch of different things, I see, huh? 3,600 planks. Oh, I see. It costs, okay, so we can unlock a bunch of things. It costs research points to get all of this stuff. How do you earn research points? Well, we can start just by uh, checking out the shop here. The shop, we have a bunch of different things we get. Small transporters, animal grabbers, cedars, and shrink rays. Holy crap. Tell you what, let's start by grabbing the plow here. And we're gonna plow us a little bit of land. Let's see here. We can just make a little farm starting, I guess about here. I think it's X to drop. Oh, here we go, baby. All right. We just make a little rip right here, and that's... It's ugly, but it's it's done, okay? And now... Oh, I didn't mean to do that at all. Oh, that's fine. Uh, let's go to the shop, and we can buy some wheat seeds. It says it takes 30 seconds, and we get a yield of two. It costs $40 per. I don't know, let's buy... Let's buy 200 bucks worth. That's five of them. We have a thousand bucks left, and we'll see what our turnover is. So if I remember correctly, you grab the forklift, and you just drive over the wheat, and you go to a selected plot, and, well, you're supposed to go a little bit closer than that. There we go. And plant another one, and plant the last one. And now we're starting to get into a little bit of harvest here. So let's go ahead and grab, not the plow, we want the harvester, yeah? Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the harvester. We have to drop the forklift first. Okay, now. There we go. Couple of wheat. Couple more wheat. Couple more wheat. Couple more wheat. And couple more wheat. Okay. So we drop this down. We grab the forklift again. And we pick it up and bring it over to the cell. Oh, we only get 18 for it. Well, that's not a good return on investment. Can we turn it in for research? Reset. Oh, yes. Yes, that is much better. Much better. So, let's look at the research points and see what we need here. So, to get flour, we need 200 points. Eggs, 200 points. And carrots, 400 points. I suppose we want to get it all, huh? All right. Last little bit of wheat. We sold all of them. Well, we turned in all of them for research except for one. We'd have got 300 research with just that little carry. That's not that bad. All right, let's check into the lab and what else can we buy? Oh, 5,400, that's a little bit too much. So to make omelets and bread, we're missing some of this. Let's start with the flour. So we could buy a flour factory for 350 bucks. Let's go ahead and buy that. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Look, it's just a little tiny. Oh, you can pick it up and place it wherever. I like it. Let's go ahead and set it down. All right. We got a flower factory now. So with the flower factory, we're going to have to get some more wheat. Time to plant more. All right. We're going to harvest a few of the plants of wheat that we had. We have one more up here. And one more that's finishing down here. And that'll live us a little bit of wheat so that we can try out the flower factory here. Ah, I see what's going on now. You just take one of these suckers and you bring it right over to the flower factory and you just plant it in, man. And they got a little timer right up top too. 34 seconds, I guess, until it produces one flower or until it processes everything. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. One second left until it's done. There we go. We got flour. We could deposit more. We could grab flour now and we could bring it over to sell. Okay. If we sell it, we get 40 bucks back. So that's a way of turning one wheat into what we paid for it. Let's see what happens when we research it. All right, here's our other flower that just popped out. And let's go bring it to the research table. So we were getting 30 per point over here. Oh my god. A little bit, and uh, we've been getting some research points. Let's go ahead and research this last sack of flour here. We'll go to the research lab and we'll open up bread. Now, I think we're going to be talking. So the bread factory is a thousand bucks. It's going to be a little bit before we get there. All right, we got enough research to unlock something else now. And I think we're going to go with carrots. 
I'm gonna try a little bit higher end crop here. Okay, and let's see if we can buy some carrot seeds and start this party off here. Carrot seeds, 60 bucks a piece. Let's do it. Let's buy, I don't know, three of them and see what happens. Okay, we got carrots, good. Let's go ahead and make just a little right there. Okay, perfect. Grab the carrot and plant it. 60 seconds for these, all right. Plant it and plant it. All right, let's check out these carrots, huh? Okay, you still get the same yield. Two for one, okay. Now, grabbing the forklift, we could bring them in and see what kind of stuff that we can get for them. Okay, picking up a carrot. All right, for money wise, we sell them for 46 bucks a piece, so still a net loss on money. Well, actually, no, huh? If we sell a carrot, we get 46 bucks, but we get two carrots per. And it costs 60, so actually it's a net profit, finally. All right, let's see what uh, research brings us, 46 points. All right, so carrots are probably pretty good for research too, but I think flour is still the jam for research. Carrots ain't that bad to sell though. I think we're gonna start planting a bit of carrots. We still have quite a bit of flour that's being produced right now. If we look into the flour factory, we have 29 in queue. So that's gonna be going for just a little while. And we can continue to put these into storage if we want. Right now we have three sacks of flour in storage. That way we can use them when it's time to get bread. But we need a little bit more money before we get into this type of stuff. In order to build a chicken pen or whatever, we're gonna need fence posts and gates and to make a bread factory we're still gonna need a thousand bucks so that's gonna cost us quite a bit I've been selling quite a few carrots and I'm just about at a grand we're gonna buy this bread factory and see what we can do with it let's see here BAM now we have the money to do it bread factory if you please one thousand dollars okay and we get it right there we can just place let's put it next to the flower factory for sure all right, boom. Now, bread factory. We put flour in there, I think is what we do. And it looks like 146 seconds later, it's gonna turn it into something. All right, we start plugging flour into this puppy now. We also have a bunch in storage that we can start as well. We can pop all of these out. Literally popping them all out, all right. And <laughs> load it up, baby. Cue it. All right, we're about to get our first hot Loaf of delicious bread. Bam! There it is, baby. Let's see what it sells for, huh? Hot damn! 300 bucks! Now I want to try to research one. Alright, we got more hot delicious bread that just popped out. Let's check it out, huh? See how much research we get for it? 300 points! Oh, wow! So we've been getting quite a bit of bread and turning it in for money and research and I think it's time to start upgrading to see what we can really put together. So let's take a look at the equipment. We can get a seeder which allows us to seed fields and a small transporter which has a capacity of 10. I think that would be pretty cool to start getting stuff and put it back. But let's take a look at what we can get bigger. Medium transport is 4,500 bucks. That's a lot of money. I think that this is a, a decent stepping stone to get. And as far as the animal grabber and shrink ray, I don't know that much yet. Um, the saw is probably just to take down trees. Water tank is probably to remove Oh, it's for watering fields, actually. That's a little bit different. Now, let's take a look at what we can open for research. We have beets that are available. We also have strawberries. Oh, wait, that was milk. Strawberries that we can get for 1200 Corn that we can get for 3600 We're not to that point yet. We probably just need to use what we have here, and that's 1200 bucks. Let's get some strawberries, huh? All right, we could buy a few seeds here. There we go. And, oh, we got the small transporter and that hooked up too. Okay, let's, uh, I'll tell you what, let's just harvest what we got really quick. All right, we'll harvest all of this stuff right here. Harvesting's still pretty fast, at least. Let's grab the strawberries to do something a little bit more delicate. We have a few seedlings that we can do, so let's just try to... Uh, we'll go ahead and just do this. Now we'll plant some strawberries instead. Um, this wheat we're going to go ahead and put down over here. We don't want it. Uh, we need to stop. 
plowing stuff up. Good lord. All right, look at those plants. How pretty. That's not what we want. There's our strawberry. All right, now all of those is planted. Let's uh, let's take the transport, huh? Let's see if we can just grab everything with the transport now that it's all plowed up. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, small transporter. Oh, baby. <laughs> that's all right, man. That's all right. We can put it all in the storage now. Look at this, man. Look at this. All we have is bread in the storage right now. Let's transfer all this right here. Okay. And instead of this, what we'll do is we'll we'll go ahead and pick up that for the bread factory. Production, 12 sacks of flour. This is just wheat, so we need to bring this to the flour factory, actually. All right. Look at that. This is so good. Now we got all the carrots. We can go ahead and sell those. Look at that. Nine... 145 bucks. Okay, gotta get all this wheat made. Put the wheat into the flour factory and research some of them babies. Look at that, 3580. Now, <laughs> this is the only way to, to farm, you guys. Holy crap. All right, let's go ahead and harvest these strawberries. It looks like the yield is two per. The typical of uh, the strawberry plants, that's okay. And we can go ahead and just plant these in the existing spots, but we're gonna try out the new cedar, okay? Try out the cedar. Yep, this stuff can collect all of these things for seeds. I think I just sold all my strawberries. Dang it! All right, let's try this again, shall we? We have a lot, a lot, a lot of strawberries that I just bought. So we're gonna plant all of these suckers in this large area here. And I think we gotta do that by letting the cedar down. Oh, baby, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Spread my seed all over the earth. That's all of them? Holy crap, okay. All right, let's let them grow. It's like we're just about ready to go here. Let's grab the harvester and get ready. Strawberry fields. Look at the strawberries. Multiply. Multiply the strawberries. <laughs> so we got a lot of strawberries that are growing, but uh, my field is... <laughs> it's full of trees, man. We got to take care of this. So let's check out what we can buy over here at the shop. I remember there's some sort of log cutter type deal. Yeah, saw, but it's like 2,500 bucks. So we're going to need a little bit more money from that. That should not be a problem. We are about to get rid of a whole bunch of these plants here. And we're probably going to make some money. We still don't even know what these things yield. But I tell you what, it's bound to be better than what we've been getting with the uh, the flour and the wheat and the bread and carrots and stuff. So let's go ahead and finish all of this off and see what happens here. So just to put things in perspective, we're going to grab the forklift and do this one at a time just to make sure. All right. So if we go to the shop, we'll see that... Oops. That buying strawberries cost 120 bucks a piece, and we have 1,423 bucks. So 120 is what we got. 1,423 to 1,609. That's uh, that's not bad. It's, it's probably breaking close to even. Uh, as far as research, we have 5,240 going into so 260 for research. That ain't bad at all, to tell you the truth. Let's do this. Let's 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 get kind of crazy here. We're gonna go ahead and grab our transport, and we're gonna pick these suckers up. We're gonna fill it up with ten slots. We're gonna go ahead and drop that in the research. Oh my goodness! All right, and we're gonna go ahead and grab strawberries and drop those into the pot. Forty-three hundred bucks. I think we're about to go like supernova y'all so now that we got cash flow let's go ahead and buy this saw for 2500 bucks and i think we should just be able to go right ahead and oh yeah get rid of the trees in my way i like the sound of that uh do we want anything else here get rid of all right oh oh it's not infinite dang it well we got some rocks that we need to get rid of too uh, looks like a few different kind of rocks, and I think you can get rid of those uh, with drill heads, I think I had saw earlier, so let's check them out. We got, oh my god, stone drill middle, 8400 bucks. 
light drills light stone drills middle stones uh, let's just go with light stones right now okay stone drill weak all right let's take care of it yeah only light stones wow so we kind of need them all dang middle stones are what's in our way right now if I had to guess I'd say that this is pretty limited as well yep that was the last one all right we still need the middle one too which we could do if we really wanted to screw it let's do it the middle works on the light ones too bruh it just doesn't work on the heavy ones there we go all right well we cleared out a lot of area with this let's handle up on some strawberries right quick first though this is a good size mess i'm about to get into here Ooh. all right let's do it boys putting down them strawberries everywhere this is gonna be a lot of strawberries and i'm still picking them up too this is great i'm almost out of seeds though i think yep just about out of seeds now all right that's still gonna be a good little haul right there good lord all right we just filling up our harvester a little bit more and selling our goods we got so much research man there is tons and stuff that I can probably buy and put into research. I'm just gonna top these off at about 10K a piece and we're gonna see what all we can buy with this. Uh, let's see, this will probably bring us over 10K. Oh yeah, it sure did. Man, and getting rid of all of this stuff just helped so much. Like, can you imagine if I had one of those big storages? Like, oh my God, it would be so much. I wouldn't even have to come back to sell until I got like 30 items of each or whatever I could be planting multiple things and are we bringing in the last of the strawberries and we made like almost $25,000 doing that man we can take our research here let's go to the shop and see what we can do here we can unlock all sorts of stuff potatoes 5400 research let's do it uh, also we can get planks for 3600 maybe we can use some of that stuff that we got earlier what can we make oh my goodness fries too these suckers have a long timer though man i mean a good long timer starting off at like 360 seconds or something like that it's pretty damn bananas but we can get strawberries while we're waiting all right the final moments have come you guys harvester to potatoes as we always do, let's go ahead and get our forklift. We're going to do this one at a time to see what kind of yield we have. I'm not going to be able to do the math real good, but here we go. 24081 to 24989. That's like pretty much 907 or $8 profit, something like that. And 4380 to 5160 very very good numbers for potatoes let's go ahead and drop the forklift grab the harvester and get to potatoing and i'm gonna keep a couple potatoes right there just so i can know uh, that i can just grab some back even though you can really buy them it's just cheaper to be able to get them like that let's go ahead and get the small transport pick up some potatoes and sell them by the truckload to 25,000 bucks to 38,000 bucks in one load. $76,023 from potatoes, enough to get into all sorts of stuff. We have all this bread that we can turn into. We might as well just, at this point, we can turn all this stuff into research points. And because we've moved on to bigger and brighter things, I knew it was better to just wait. Look at this. 8670 on the research points. We could probably research French fries with this. Uh-huh. French fries go for 9600 bucks for a factory. 120 seconds to convert a potato into French fries. That's fast food. Let's grab this sucker and just set it up like right like here. Bam. Fry factory. And we can grab some potatoes. Okay, we've got some potatoes now. Let's grab our forklift. Grab a potato, put it in Fry Factory, and hit it. That moment when you know you only have 56 seconds before you can enjoy some delicious french fries. Let's see what they sell for, y'all. 66183 bucks 
67,000. They sell for like 1,200 bucks for an auto prize. That better be some good prize. Research is probably somewhat the same. We'll find out in just a few. And there we go, you guys. French fries, 470 to 1714. Not bad. And now it's potato time. We have a ton of potatoes. I want to harvest them all. I want to grab as much cash as we can and see if we can break the 100 grand barrier. So we can literally say we've made it as farmers, right? All right. Let's start selling, huh? Boom. 89 grand. Oh, yeah. We're going to hit 100 grand. Easy, babe. Look at the potatoes. A hundred thousand dollars and plenty of potatoes to go. This has been one of the most addicting little farm games that I've played in a long time. And I hope you guys enjoyed it so much, as much as I did. I'll leave a link in the description below for all of you that are interested to check out the game yourself. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Olgin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.